Hello friends, I welcome you in lecture number 8 on counting. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the Pigeon Hall principle. So first we understand what is Pigeon Hall principle with the help of these uh, 8 Pigeon Halls. Suppose we are having 8 Pigeon Halls and uh, we have 9 Pigeons. So we can see that we are having number of pigeons greater than the number of pigeon holes. Now this nine out of these nine pigeons, we can include eight pigeons in each pigeon hole. Suppose pigeon one is included here, pigeon two here, pigeon three here, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So, 9 pigeons are inside, uh, 8 pigeons out of 9 pigeons are inside these 8 pigeon holes. And uh, we are having 9 pigeons, so we have to include this 9th uh, pigeon somewhere in these pigeon holes. So, we must include this 9 pigeon in one pigeon hole which is already having another pigeon inside it. So, we can include here with uh, P4 or we can include this ninth pigeon with any of these pigeons which are already inside pigeon hole before that pigeon. So, pigeon hole principle simply says that if there are more pigeons than the number of pigeon holes, then there must be at least one pigeon hole which contains two or more pigeons. If the number of pigeons is bigger than the number of pigeon holes, then there must be at least one pigeon hole containing two or more pigeons. So, this is a very easy principle and uh, we can easily remember it. Here I have written this uh, principle. Suppose that a flock of pigeons flies into a set of pigeon holes to roost. The pigeon hole principle states that if there are more pigeons than pigeon holes, then there must be at least one pigeon hole with at least two pigeons in it. We can write pigeon hole principle formally in this way, formal pigeon hole principle. Instead of pigeons, we consider objects and instead of pigeon holes, we consider boxes. So, suppose we have k boxes and we want to put k plus 1 or more objects inside these boxes. Then there is at least one box containing two or more of the objects. If k plus 1 or more objects are placed into k boxes, then there is at least one box containing two or more of the objects. So, we will remember this pigeon hole principle. It is very easy to remember. Uh, suppose we have k boxes and we have number of objects which are greater than k, k plus 1 or more, then there is at least one box containing two or more of the objects. The pigeon hole principle is also known as Dirichlet drawer principle. Now we uh, understand pigeon hole principle by taking uh, one or two examples. Among any group of 367 people, there must be at least two with the same birthday because there are only 366 possible birthdays. So, this example we can frame in terms of pigeon hole principle. In pigeon hole principle, we require k which is the number of boxes and we require the number of objects. So, here uh, we can consider number of boxes as 366 birthdays. k is the number of birthdays which are 366 and uh, number of objects are 367. Here we have 367 people, so we can consider objects as 
367. So it is obvious that number of objects are more than the number of boxes which are buddies. So by this pigeon hall principle, there must be at least two people or two objects with the same birthday or we can uh, say in terms of pigeon hall principle there there must be at least one box there must be at least one box containing two or more objects so here box denotes the birthday so there must be at least one day k is the birthdays number of birthdays so there must be at least one birthday there must be at least one birthday which contains two or more objects that is two or more people by pigeon hole principle we have 366 boxes and 367 objects so pigeon hole principle says that there must be at least one box or there must be at least one birthday corresponding to two or more people so we can say that there must be at least two persons with the same birthday because two or more people will be inside this box here box is number of birthdays that is at least one birthday so in this way uh, we can understand this example this is application of pigeon hole principle the number of boxes are number of birthdays the number of objects are number of people which are 367 which is greater than 366 by pigeon hole principle we can say that there is at least one box containing two or more objects that is two or more people so in other words there is at least one birthday corresponding to at least two people so two at least two people are having the birthday same birthday we consider another example in any group of 27 english words there must be at least two that begin with the same letter since there are 26 letters in English alphabet. So here also we can consider number of boxes as k equal to 26 letters and number of objects are 27 English words. So this is equal to k plus 1 and we are interested uh, in the pigeon hole principle which says that if the number of objects are more than the number of boxes then there is at least one box there is at least one box that is there is at least one letter which contains two or more objects that is here objects are English words, two or more English words. So there is at least one box that is at least one letter out of these 26 letters which are A to Z corresponding to two or more English words. So this means there must be at least two English words that begin with the same letter so we can understand this example too in this way in pigeon hole principle we are considering number of boxes as k equal to 26 letters and we are considering 27 as the number of objects which is more than this uh, 26 which is number of letters so by pigeon hole principle there is at least one box which contains two or more English words or two or more objects. In other words, there must be at least two English words that begin with the same letter because there are 26 letters in the English alphabet. Third example, 
how many students must be in a class to guarantee that at least two students receive the same score on the final exam if the exam is graded on a scale from 0 to 100 points so here we are asked to find out the number of objects how many students must be in a class to guarantee that at least two students receive the same score on the final exam so we have to find out the number of objects in the pigeon hole principle before that we have to count the number of boxes so the number of boxes we can count from this uh, here the scores are starting from 0 1 2 and up to 100 points so there are 101 boxes or we can say that number of scores are 101 starting from 0 1 and up to 100 now we are asked to find out the number of students such that at least two students receive the same score on the final exam so this will happen if the number of students is more than this number of boxes or number of scores so if we consider k equal to 101 then the number of students will be k plus 1 that is 101 plus 1 that is 102 if we consider number of students equal to 102 then this 102 will be number of objects there are 102 objects here objects are number of students so if we have 102 objects and 101 boxes then the pigeon hole principle says that there must be at least one box or here there must be at least one score which contains two or more objects or at least two students so there must be at least one score corresponding to at least two students so if we consider number of students equal to 102 then uh, this condition will be guaranteed that if the number of students are 102 or more then at least two students will receive the same score on, on the final exam so we have to write systematically there are 101 possible scores on the final exam the pigeon hole principle says that there must be 101 plus 1 equal to 102 students in a class to guarantee that at least two students receive this same score on the final exam so this is very nice application of pigeon hole principle the pigeon hole principle is very easy and uh, using pigeon hole principle we can find out a uh, solution of this type of counting problems but we have to uh, rephrase everything whatever is given in the given example we have to convert or we have to understand those things in terms of pigeon hole principle we have to decide that what number is corresponding to number of boxes that is we have to decide value of k then we will be able to decide the value of objects and once we decide the number of objects and number of boxes it is easy to apply pigeon hole principle so in this lecture we have discussed pigeon hole principle which says that if there are k boxes and k plus one or more objects then there is at least one box containing two or more of the objects using this principle we can solve some type of counting problems so this is very nice principle in upcoming lecture we will generalize this pigeon hole principle or in short we will discuss generalized pigeon hole principle so this is all about this session i hope you like it thank you very much